Emma, why are you in such a, a bitter mood? You were so bubbly a couple weeks ago. Oh, is it because you can't go trick-or-treating because of 2020? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it is for everybody's safety. How about uh, make us a couple, you know, bitter cocktails? Maybe that'll improve your mood. Yeah. Hey friends, hey, welcome on back to Barkeep's Choice. Again, my name is Dion, I'll be your bartender this evening. My mass crusader friend over here, this is Bandito. He's gonna be fighting crime along the way. Well, Bandit's in a little bit of a bitter mood today, so I figured we would make a couple bitter cocktails using some good old fashioned Fernet Branca. Today, we're gonna be making a Toronto and a Ferrari. Bandit, do you remember what this bottle is? No? Well, just a little quick reminder, this is Fernet Branca. Fernet Branca is a, categorized as an Amaro. Oh, you don't remember what an Amaro is? Oh, I'm sorry. An Amaro is a, uh, it's a bitter herbal liqueur, and the majority of it is produced in Italy. An Amaro is a digestive that is typically made from herbs, spices, roots, and citrus pills that originally was made for medicinal purposes. Although it's not labeled as a medicine, these days it continues to be enjoyed after a large meal, you know, to help ease the stomach a little bit. Fernet Branca was made by Bernardino Branca in Milan, Italy in 1845. And he passed this secret recipe along to his son, and it still continues to be produced in Italy by the Branca family. Fernet Branca is as bitter as it is herbaceous with some spice characteristics, you know, because it's been made from 27 medicinal herbs. Typically, Fernet is loved by bartenders and workers in the service industry. First time Fernet drinkers often find this spirit to be a little too intense, but the more you sip on it, the more unique flavors draw you into it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, bud, I definitely plan on getting a Fernet tattoo. You want to get one together? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our first cocktail, the Toronto. Now this is a dry, bitter, spirit-forward cocktail that was first recorded in Robert Vermeer's 1922 edition of Cocktails and How to Mix Them. Vermeer originally titled this cocktail in his book as the Fernet Cocktail, but under the recipe he writes, this cocktail is much appreciated by Canadians of Toronto. And from then on, this cocktail became known as the Toronto. All right, baby, we're gonna go ahead and start building this cocktail. And it is a very simple cocktail to build. First, we're gonna be using just a quarter ounce of our rich, simple syrup. And then we're gonna be using another quarter ounce of our Fernet Branca. So this drink is kind of like a, a play on an old fashioned and where the Fernet is going to replace the bitters in this cocktail. And again, that's only a quarter of an ounce. All right, and lastly, we're gonna be adding our base spirit, which is a rye whiskey. Now, typically we would use like a Canadian high rye whiskey, although today we're gonna to be using some of Denver's own La Sacale rye. And this stuff is fantastic, and we'll be adding two ounces of this into our mixing glass. Okay, let's go ahead and just put this aside, and we're gonna get started with our second cocktail, the Ferrari. Now the Ferrari is a very simple cocktail that is very bitter in flavor, but deliciously smooth. It's a two ingredient cocktail with equal parts of our Fernet Branca and something that we've used prior, the Red Stuff Campari. As a matter of fact, when I managed my last bar at St. Ellie, we had a Ferrari machine that I have right here and we would pour that for shots for all of our friends, which is a lot of fun. Ferraris are definitely adored by bartenders and are commonly known as the bartender's handshake. All right, like I said earlier, a Ferrari is equal parts of Fernet and Campari. So we're just gonna all go ahead and add a, uh, an ounce and a half of each of these. So we have both of our cocktails built. Let's go ahead and add our ice and stir our hearts out, baby. All right, we're gonna be serving both of these cocktails in a rocks glass on a large rock. And when I say rock, I mean a large ice rock. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pour these in. And for our garnish, we're gonna be using an orange swath. Bandit, what do we like to do with our orange swaths? Yeah, we like to express the oils. And always make your garnish look pretty, even if it's for yourself. You always want to feel fancy when you're drinking a cocktail. All right, friends, cheers. 
We just made a Toronto and a Ferrari. Okay, let's go ahead and give these cocktails a taste. Let's start with the Toronto. Ooh, yummy. This is really fantastic. The Law's Rye gives it that robust taste, and it's got that bitterness from the Fernet, and you know, it's actually slightly sweet. Um, let's go ahead and taste the Ferrari. Well, that, my friends, holy cow, that is a bitter bomb. Basically because it's made from two bitter spirits. Bandit, what do you think of these cocktails? Will this, uh, will this make for a good Halloween treat? Yeah, we can definitely have a Ferrari as a shot when you get off, but you gotta finish your dishes first. Get to it, bud. Hey, friends, I know you all want to go out and drink. If you do, please wear your mask. It just helps us all. Also, please go vote. Friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch Bandit and I making cocktails. Please click on that little subscribe button right there at the bottom. Also, turn on your notifications and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. This way we can continue making drinks as long as forever. All right, friends, stay safe, stay clean, drink up, please vote. Cheers. Action. Fernet. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>